Hello and welcome to the channel. I have seen a huge boost in subscriptions, so thank you for that. In this tutorial, I will teach you how you can use Inkscape for cross-section modeling using curves. If you haven't used Inkscape, I suggest you look at YouTube for some tutorials on using Inkscape. Inkscape is a very powerful free tool to use in your workflow. Pull in two vertical guides. They will help to draw a curve. Select the Bezier tool and draw the cross section of a curve. Use the vertical guides for snapping. Use the path tool and give the cross section some curvature by dragging with the mouse over the path you created. Inkscape is a very powerful tool to draw nice clean curves. Save your file as an SVG. Now it's time to import it into Blender. Delete the default cube and add a curve circle. You can use collections to organize your workflow. Import the SVG into Blender using the import menu. I'm sorry, but OBS Studio did not record this window. I think you are familiar with importing SVGs in Blender. I use the drag and drop in the outliner to organize my workflow. Renaming the curves can make it easier to follow along. Select the profile and go into edit mode. Make it 2D so it's nicer on the eyes. Select the vertice that crossed the second guide in Inkscape. Shift S to put the 3D cursor to the selected vertice and then in object mode put the origin to 3D cursor. Shift S to get the cursor back into the center of the world and Shift S to put the selected to the cursor. Rotate the profile 90 degrees in object mode on the x-axis. Select the path and under geometry bevel select the profile you just made. In object mode rotate 100 degrees around y-axis. Tab into edit mode, ctrl T, 180 degrees. Now you can drag the profile and object mode to the outside of the path. Let's scale it a bit, put the 3D cursor on the vertice where the origin is and use the 3D cursor as a pivot point. Now you can scale it in edit mode. Make sure there is a little hole in the vase. We can fix this later on if we convert it to a mesh. That was the setup. 
Now we're going to make three curves in Inkscape. I will time lapse this because it's the same principle all over again. Make sure that your uh, workspace is organized using collections and give some meaningful names to your curves. The next steps are just the same steps as I did in the first part. The curves are all separate. Join them to one curve with Ctrl J. As you can see, it's just the same workflow for one curve or for three curves, so go crazy. Once you understand cross-section modeling using curves, you can model everything you want. In this part, I will model a vase and a table in one single go. I will fast forward the Inkscape part with the time lapse. Organize your workspace with collections and make duplicates. That way it will be easier. It is the same process all over again.
we now have a round table. Let's duplicate the collection and make it a squared. Select the path and change the handles to vector. Now you just created a squared table using curves. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to keep up to date with curve modeling and new tutorials I put out. Thank you for watching, until next time. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and I will always answer them. Till next time, and keep on modeling.